Once he has the program firmly in mind, he must be able to assign the right task to the right man. To do this, he must know his own strengths and weaknesses. The strengths and weaknesses of his machines. And perhaps most important of all, he must know his men. What they can do and what they can't. He must make sure when he makes the assignment that each man has the authority equal to his responsibility. His men must accept these limits, so there will be no passing the box. A man can delegate responsibility, but he can never abdicate responsibility. A supervisor must back up his men with effective supporting procedures for the maintenance and operation of the machine. There must be technical orders and checklists. In special highly critical areas with access controls, and with challenge and response checks. Here it must be absolutely clear that there is no margin for error. In every system the supervisor must always remember that he is dealing with men as well as machines. And men have basic needs for attention, to be a part of the program, to be able to make suggestions, and to have them evaluated and accepted when they are valid. He must be able to see the job from their point of view and what problems they may have. Finally, he must be sure to provide the security of a safe working environment. When all this is accomplished,